YouTube family. It's your girl, Love Kisses 99 and I'm coming to you today with a really quick video. I was asked a while ago, how do you tint a silk base closure with Rit Dye? So I'm going to show you how I do mine. It's really quick, it's really easy, and the key is to get the closure to match like maybe your hand, your forehead, or like your natural scalp. For me, my natural scalp is a little bit lighter than like my, my skin here on my face. So I'm going to show you how I did it. And this was the red dye that I used. You can pick this up from any craft store. Any craft store would have it. So we just need a little red dye, some hot water, and that's pretty much it. And your closure, and that's pretty much it. So I used a container, and I used my measuring cup that I filled with one cup of super duper hot water and I poured it in here, placed a cap full or I would say start with a half a cap full of the dye because you don't want it to be too dark. You can always go in and like kind of redo it if it's too light, but once it's too dark, the dye is taken onto the silk and you won't be able to make too many changes. So definitely stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how I darken my closure and here it is once it's been darkened. This closure I got from Best Lace Wigs. This is one of their silk based closures. So definitely stay tuned and I'm really hoping that this is helpful. And if you have any questions, you can leave them right down in the comments area and I'll come back and answer questions. If you have any comments, thumbs up this video if you like it, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll leave links to all of my other social media families, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all that great information right down in the information area. So stay tuned for the footage, and that's, that's going to be pretty much it for right now. And I'm hoping you have an absolutely awesome day today, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Okay, so we're just going to get started. There's the bowl that I'm going to use. There's the tan writ dye. You can find this at most supermarkets or Walmart. And then here is one cup of very hot water. So um, we have the closure in the back. And I'm using these Swispers in order to check the color that I'm going to get from the dye. And here's the closure as you can see the scalp or what the area that would be considered scalp is very very light so I'm going to put the water into the container and then I'm going to put in the writ dye which I'm going to use about almost a full cap full and I'm just adding that to the hot water and I do have like a little plastic spatula here that I'm just going to use to kind of stir it up a little bit because if you don't stir it or move it around the dye just kind of ends up in one area so I just want to make sure that it's all mixed in with the water and now I'm going to use the Swisper in order to check the color to see how close it is to my skin color now normally if you're going to do this you would use you can use gloves but the dye doesn't really seem to transfer onto like my hands or my nails or anything so now I'm just going to check the color I like it a light tan because my my scalp is actually a lot lighter than the back of my hand so this color is fine for me. This is usually what I do with my silk base closures. And now I'm just going to take the closure and hold the hair all back. I don't want to get too much of the hair into the dye. Although it doesn't really tint it that much because it just, I guess it just doesn't. And now I'm just going to place the closure bottom side down right into the water, into the dye mixture while I'm holding the hair back. I'm just going to let that sit for about maybe I would say a minute but if you're doing it you are going to want to check to make sure that you're getting the color that you want on your closure. I'm just kind of spreading it out so I can see what it looks like. And I have my little timer right there that I was using to you know look for the minute and now the minute's almost up. So now I'm going to just take the closure out. I'm just wringing it out. As I stated, you can use plastic gloves if you choose. And now it did tint it the color that I wanted. Now if you do yours, if you like yours darker, you might have to retint it again or use a little bit more of the dye in the water. And here's a before and an after, another before and another after. And thanks for watching. Bye.